It began with taxes. And who should pay more to support her view? Darletta Scruggs on FBN. When we talk about taxing the 1%, and, and I did see um, the previous interview you did where you said the 1% is anyone making above 250000 or more, I would completely disagree with you um, and what you think the 1% is. But when we say the 1%, we're talking about those that are making billions of dollars, particularly off of industries like private prisons. Rather than go knee-jerk knee toward trying to get more money. Find out first how we're spending Neil, it. Neil, where are we spending our money? We're spending our money on wars. We're spending our money on tax breaks for big, wealthy corporations. Well, how, do you, spending our money spending money on how do you feel about spending money on Medicare, Social Security, That Medicaid. is not, that is our, our budget. Our military budget was $607 billion, no, larger you're, you're than right seven about countries that as well. combined. But how do you feel? Okay, so we're so, not going to pit one being more important than the other. The issue is we're prioritizing war right, so the and military, prison uh, I see more than point. education so you don't and like health care. The there is that, creativity. Is, there is creativity when it comes else? to war. Understood. We shouldn't have to cut it. I would, we should. We shouldn't be a question of cutting things. There is money there. If we can pull a trillion dollars to say, oh, we need more nuclear weapons, then obviously there's money lying around that can be used to pay right, for education. Let, do, the fact that I have this. to get on here Let's and argue for right education down, is asinine. I, okay. It's not that big of a task to have free public community college. It will cost 62 billion dollars. Uh, the U.S. government spent 69 billions of dollars in 2014 just on financial. A programs. But let's say we wiped out okay. all defense spending. Let's say now we're treading even. Who's making that argument, Neil? Who's making that argument? I'm just, you, as an you, you've taken I'm, no, no, uh, uh, Darlette, no, I'm using you're, you're it as an example. It to the next no, 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 Darlette, I'm just using That's it as an example. That's the worst example. Okay, we can fine. use better Darlette, examples. Darlette, please listen. I shouldn't have to answer the question of how to the, the, uh, handle the deficit that the government created. I'm not a government official. I wasn't elected into office to, sign these, uh, to solve these problems. I'm a tax-paying citizen, a, person, a young person that is seeking opportunities in a system that is unable to provide it regardless of what the argument is. And I say that this system of capitalism has proven itself illegitimate and it cannot provide basic things like education, shelter, health care. We need to readjust how we view our society if someone has to get on here and defend the right to education. Darletta, I caught your comments in Germany. You were really impressive yeah, you do, out there. You do good research. But that, good. that country, that country doesn't do nearly the amount of this stuff that these other countries do. It's the country that Greece comes to to get money. You're pointing I, to Greece because it fits no, your no, argument. I, I, but I we have make it Sweden. Up, we have Finland. It is we the strongest have economy. We have plenty of countries uh, Darletta, that offer it's the free strongest college economy education. in Europe precisely because it did not not go down this path of the government providing all of this stuff. Now, I'm not saying some of your priorities aren't good and they're, they're valid. Germany has free college education and free health care. We're only talking about the, uh, the topic of college education. Now you're trying to blow it up of all the problems where in the do world. You, where We're do talking you, about where college do education. But do you think Bernie Sanders is right to you're just raise taxes? You're refusing to answer my question. You're refusing to answer my question. You're saying that the United States cannot provide quality education to its citizens. That is the reality. Is that what you're telling no, me? No, I'm saying the United can't States can't afford, as things are now, to pay for college for everybody it can, without but it paying can through the nose war. and taxing a lot. Prioritize. Okay. We can set our focus. Well, I'm mm -hmm. saying, Darletta, before we talk about raising taxes, let's focus on where our tax money is already going. No one said anything about raising taxes but you, Neil. The rich but when and the you banks say raising more. taxes, you want, you want your viewers who are crunched financially to feel like taxes are going to be raised on them. When I say raising taxes, I'm talking about bankers. Right. I'm talking about the 0.01% the Rothschilds, the Waltons, okay. billionaire, Fair hedge enough. fund billionaires. We're talking about two different people here. Before we decide on trying to give the government more money, let's find out what the hell it's doing with the money it has, right? We know what it's doing with the money. It's giving tax right. breaks to the rich and it's paying for war, expensive wars. We know, I, I'm not confused. Maybe you should do some more research, Neil, if you're confused <laughs> okay. about where your tax dollars are going. I understand exactly where it's going, and, the, and it's not going anywhere in education because it's not profitable. profitable. We live in a system of capitalism where the idea is to make money. Okay. If it doesn't make money, it's not a priority. We need to restructure our society and how it's set up and reprioritize of what we value as important. And money and profits should not be more important than education right, and human life. And the fact that that it is, is a problem. Thank you very much.